What's up guys, welcome back to the Ultimate Tech Hub. On today's episode, we finally get to reveal our brand new YouTube Studio Desk remodel. So guys, on today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how we built this massive 14 foot floating desk. And this also includes the LED lights in the back and the wire management under the desk. And you'll see all of this next on the Ultimate Tech Hub. So guys, let me go ahead and show you our original YouTube Studio setup. This room is a combination YouTube Studio and office for my wife. And we've had these two large desks for about 15 years. And we found these desks to be too large. It makes the YouTube Studio feel small. So we'll need a desk that's not so deep, that looks stylish and functional, and most importantly, inspires creativity. So our plan is to build a 14 foot, eight inch floating desk with a depth of 29 inches. This floating desk will span wall to wall and function as one cohesive desk unit. And the plan is to build two tops. Each top is seven feet, four inches. It would be very difficult to build a 14 foot, eight inch top and very hard to work <laughs> with. So we picked out these beautiful pine boards at our local hardware store and we had them pre-cut to seven feet, four inches. And we're gonna glue three boards together to make one top. Two boards are 11 inches wide, and one of the boards is seven inches wide, which gives us 29 inches. And we're gonna make two identical tops. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue two boards together first, let it dry, and then I'll glue and connect the third board. I wanna make sure these boards are connected perfectly. And I have weights as well to weight down the ends. This prevents bowing or warping of the boards. Once I glue all three boards and they're dry, I can then sand them. I'll start with 80 grit sandpaper, then 150 grit sandpaper, then 220 grit sandpaper, and then lastly 320 grit sandpaper. These tops will be super smooth. And then after sanding, I can seal them with an oil-based polyurethane between three and four coats. So as a way to save time on this video, I'm only gonna show you how to make the one top since the second top is identical. And you may have noticed these two holes at the top of the boards. We drilled these two holes near the back of the boards for wire drop management. And we did this for both tops. And the diameter for these holes are two inches, which is plenty of room for multiple wires. So we ended up doing four coats of poly for each top with sanding in between coats which will ensure a smooth finish. And guys, remember, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. 
and also visit my Patreon page where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. So after we apply the fourth and final coat of poly, it's time to build the frame. This top looks fantastic and smooth as butter. Like I said before, we're not going to show you how to build the second top because it's exactly the same as the first top. So now we're going to build the frame. I have these 2x4s pre-cut. Two boards are cut at 9 feet. Two more boards are cut at 5 foot 8 inches. And the smaller cross beams are 2 foot boards. And once again, this is the location for the new desk. It's time to move some stuff. Before we install the frame to the wall, I wanted to go ahead and mock up the frame on the floor in the garage. And this is kind of how it's going to look. Those smaller two foot cross beams will be spaced differently for sure. But the length is perfect. 14 foot 8 inches. So the most important part of this frame is the very first board. It needs to have the right height and it has to be level. And you want to make sure to use a digital stud finder to find all the studs on the wall. When you find a stud, simply mark the spot. Once again, double check for level and for the correct height. And everything is perfect. We're ready to go. Let's install our first 2x4. I pre-drilled the first two holes for the initial stud installation. One more last check for height and level, and let's go ahead and install the 2x4. I secured this 2x4 frame with 2.5 inch deck screws. So at this point, simply drill holes at all the stud locations, and then attach the deck screws. And you may notice in the 2x4s, there's pocket holes. I pre-drilled these first, so when I attach the top, I'll use glue and pocket hole screws for a perfect fit, and very secure. And once again, check for level to make sure everything is perfect.
All right, so I've got day one. I've got most of the frame done, the back and the sides. I've got one cross beam here, and I'm gonna do two here, the halfway mark, coming out here, and I'll do one more over here, somewhere here. And then we can put the front ones on, and then we can test fit the top. Also, if you notice, I did drill holes here for wire management. Yeah, a lot of wires under here. That's why the hole's kind of big, but it doesn't really, it won't hurt any of the uh, stability. It's very stable. We'll get a lot of wires through there, so. Day one, down. At the exact middle of this frame, where both tops meet, I'm gonna put a double two by four there for stability. I'll add glue for extra strength, as well as deck screws. And as usual, check for level. Perfect. For all the cross beams on this frame, I use glue and deck screws to secure it. And you can see all these cross beams have two inch holes for wire management. And don't forget, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. One more board, go there. I'm gonna add one more cross beam here, go there. And maybe one more cross beam over here. This is, stays pretty solid. It feels good, but just another cross beam here. Keep this is kind of drooping a little. I may have to put a support underneath, keep this from sagging in the middle. It's natural, it's 14 feet, eight inches. It may want to sag in the middle, so we'll see. So far, so good. I'm gonna add one more brace right here at the end of this, into here to give it a little more strength so it won't sag or anything. And this board's very tight. When I cut it on the table saw, it's really in there good, so it's not going anywhere. Go ahead and screw in the pocket holes and we'll be good to go. And once again, you can see I do have holes in all of these for table management. The wires can all go through here. Nice.
Okay guys, at this point, we decide to build a triangle support from the very middle of the desk. The two straight boards are 18 inches, and the angle board, which is 45 degrees, is about 24 inches. So once again, use some glue and some deck screws for extra strength. So measure and cut your other side to 45 degrees. Then attach with wood glue and more deck screws. So at the location of this support bracket, there is no stud in the wall. So we're going to use wall anchors. I'll use three. Each wall anchor can support 75 pounds. And with three anchors, that's 225 pounds of support, which is plenty. And these anchors are easy to insert. And I also pre-drilled the three holes in the bracket. But for some reason, my camera wasn't recording. Okay, the bracket is installed, and we are level. Perfect. Okay, now let's go ahead and attach the last framing board. This board is 5 foot 8 inches. And we are all done with the frame. It feels good. Let's go ahead and test fit the tops. Make sure they fit. I might have to do some sanding on the ends. As you can see, when I test fitted these tops, I hadn't sealed the board yet or put in the wire drop holes. And this shot has the wire drop holes in it. And this is after sealing the boards perfect fit. Now it's time to add the LED light kit. So before we install the desktops, I'm going to install LED light strip to run along the entire back of the desk. It's going to be an RGB light strip that can be dimmed, different colors, patterns, and it'll reflect up behind from behind here. Give it a nice aesthetics. So we're going to install that and I'll run it down here here, start here, and then work its way all the way around. 16 feet, this area is about 15, so I'll have a little extra, uh, maybe run it here on each side a little bit. We'll see how that works though. Okay, let's go ahead and install that. This LED light strip is from Utility Tech and retails for $49. And this is the 16 feet spool of LED wires, the remote control, lots of colors and the power supply connector. And this hardware is to help secure the light strip. And the instructions. Let's go ahead and do a test fit and see if it fits before I secure it.
and it's going to fit perfectly. And since it fits perfectly, I'm not even going to secure it with anything. It's going to lay flat anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole through the frame to run the power cord for the LED light strip. That way it'll be hidden. And just simply pull it through the hole and then we'll go ahead and run it down the back of the desk. And then we'll plug it in. Wow, looks great. That was an easy install. This has a lot of cool colors. It has flashing patterns. It has strobe patterns. All right, now let's go ahead and install the two tops to the frame. We're almost done. So to secure these tops, I'm gonna use glue and pocket hole screws. Once we have a good layer of glue on the 2x4s, we can then add the top. It's a good idea to use some weights. You want the ends of the boards to lay flat, not curved up. So you want to place the weights at the corners or any areas where you think it's not flat. Once you get all the weights placed where you need to, use the pocket hole screws to secure the top to the 2x4s. Next, pocket hole screws to bring this down, to suck the board down to the, the top, make it flush. As you secure the top of the board to the 2x4s with the pocket hole screws, you'll notice the top kind of sucks into the 2x4, forming a perfect fit. And the first top is done. All right, we'll let this dry for a few hours. Then it's on to round two. So we use the exact same technique with the glue and the pocket hole screws. And just a heads up, you want to avoid getting glue on the LED light strips. And guys, remember, hit subscribe, it's free. Where the two boards meet up at the seam in the middle, I put the weights there in the middle to kind of keep it flush. And the rest of the weights are in the corners or in the back. And once again, time for pocket hole screws. So guys, this is the finished product. We're all done. This is a massive 14 foot, eight inch floating desk shelf with custom LED lights. The total cost for this desk, including the lights, was around $360. Now it's time to place the computers on our new desk. And of course I want to show you my wire management under the desk. I start off by installing three power surge protectors under the desk. This gave me about 18 outlets to plug into. And I also utilized the holes in the 2x4s for all the wires. 
like power connectors and Ethernet cables. As we know, wire management is always a work in progress. Whenever you add, remove, or modify your PC or desk, you're going to make changes to wire management. So what I'm showing you right now will probably change in the future, but this is a good start. Everything looks pretty organized. Could it be better? Yes. But for now, it looks good enough. Well guys, we're all done here. I want to thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to visit my Patreon page, where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And for every new member, I give a personal shout out in the very next video. And guys, remember, if you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love them, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you so much for watching.